The Metro Times put out an article on the 20 immutable rules or unwritten rules of Metro Detroit. And I took a look through it and while it was pretty good, I also felt it was lacking a little bit. So I did some searching, I looked at Reddit, I did a couple of surveys of past clients and came up with our very own 20 immutable rules of Metro Detroit. And I may or may not put a bit of a real estate spin on it being a real estate agent. If you like the content that we put out, boop the like button so that more people can see it and subscribe because we drop videos each and every week. If you have a real estate need, there's a Calendly link in the description or give us a call at the number on the screen. We would love to help you find your next home or get you a top dollar for your current one. Let's go. Number one, Meyer over Walmart. Every time. Meyer's kind of like part Walmart, part Kroger, part Michaels. If you need a new wardrobe and bananas and wrapping paper and a TV and all at a reasonable price with a warm greeter at the door, then Meyer's your only destination. The only advantage that Walmart has is the absolute lack of a dress code. At Meyer, you at least gotta wear pants. Number two, if you're moving here, you have to be able to pronounce the word punchki. And it's pronounced, and let's get that up on the screen, punch key and it's so much more than a donut it really is i know outside of michigan it's not but here it really is it's a 1200 calorie delicacy and we all have five every fat tuesday and frankly calories don't count on fat tuesday like fat tuesday and then layovers like like in airports like calories just don't count those days american or lafayette coney island and it can't be both you can try both but it can't be both and for for reference lafayette chili is a little bit spicier it's got a little bit of a kick to it american is more bland one redditor could declare that both are equally good and i think i Honestly, that's just a troll from Ohio looking for a fight. So just, just disregard Ohio. We all do. It doesn't really exist. It's a trap. Next up, don't you dare put cheese on a Coney here in Metro Detroit. There are a couple places that have that as an option, but if you order it that way, you'll be immediately outed as a tourist. Hot dog, chili, onions, mustard, done. Not even ketchup. Ugh. All right, now here are a couple this or that, and you can't say both. That is absolutely not allowed. East side or west side, and all of us in Metro Detroit have a side and nothing will change our minds. But where does it start? That's the real debate. So deep west siders say it's Woodward putting Royal Oak on the east side, and deep east siders say it's Shaner putting Royal Oak on, of course, the west side. But where does it start? Let me know what you think. Comment on the street that divides it. I think it's John R. personally, but I could be wrong, and I probably am. But I wanna see, is it John R., is it Shaner, is it uh, Woodward? which road divides the east and the west. Continuing on with the east side versus west side debate, in real estate, east siders call homes with a first floor master bedroom and the rest of the floors upstairs split levels. On the west side, they're called Cape Cods. And there is a battleground, and that battleground is Rochester Hills and Shelby Township. In the MLS, you'll see both marked in these two cities. And in fact, I looked over the 2022 real estate sales in both cities, and 71% of first floor masters in Rochester Hills are called Cape Cods. In Shelby Township, 63 are called split level. So if you're looking for that style home in those areas, Areas, definitely search both home style types. GM Ford or Chrysler, and we all here in Metro Detroit have our favorite, and it's usually based on what relatives work there and where, frankly, we get our discounts from. A plane with Ford rule supreme, but for me, my father did work at General Motors for 37 years, so it's all GM products all the time. Now, I'd love to own a Jeep. I, I would love to own a Jeep, but honestly, I don't get a discount. If anybody's got any family or friends that worked at Chrysler, let me know. I want a Jeep. This is the year. Okay, this is not the year. So diehard hard Lion fans always have hope going into the season and they always show up for preseason and we all hate it when they fall flat every year. And this year is the year our Lions are gonna win the Super Bowl until they're mathematically eliminated from the playoffs because they really should make the playoffs, but for some reason the math never seemed to work out and only for the Lions. Wait, no, not this year, next year. We do have a claim to fame to the Super Bowl. We did send Stafford over to LA so he can get a ring because he gave us a lot of good years here on the Lions. So even though we might not make the Super Bowl in my lifetime or your lifetime or a kid's lifetime or a grandkid's lifetime, at least we've got one tenuous claim to fame with the Super Bowl. Now, Greektown Casino has the best parking, even though nobody actually goes to the casino. And then here's your Detroiter pro tip. Have a Greek town or what's soon gonna be called a Hollywood Casino member card because they're actually switching over their brand and park there in the members area, which is floors three to six. This beats the upwards of $50 lot parking fee downtown. And I mean, these guys are all over the place and you see them out and those numbers have been going up and up and up. I remember when I was in high school, it was like five bucks for a spot back in the day. Now, if you're not parking there and if you're coming from out of town and see people wearing orange vests charging you 20 bucks to park somewhere, they're not legit, but you pay them anyway right? Like this is not an actual real parking person, but we still all pay them to watch our car. Opening day for the Tigers, first game of the season is an actual banking holiday here in Metro Detroit and probably only Metro Detroit. But fun fact, I went to U of D Jesuit in Detroit, the high school. And if we brought in a ticket on that Thursday, we got a day off from school and we always got the day off. 30 years, 
have not missed a single one. It's Verner's or ginger ale, and those two things are definitely not the same. Verner's is like Windex from My Big Red Greek Wedding. It kind of cures everything. And in fact, that's an actual true story. It was created in 1862 by the first pharmacist in Michigan. He actually fought in the Civil War, go figure. When he came home, he created Verner's. And you can call it a placebo effect. I call it the best unknown medicine because if I have a cold, I drink Verner's. If I stub my toe, I drink Verner's. Like anything that goes wrong, grab a can of Verner's. For the love of God, stay out of the left-hand lane on 696 or I-275. And 90 might seem like it's like super fast, but there's always somebody going faster, unless you're going 60. Somehow in that case, that person always ends up in the left lane and always right in front of me. Southfield Freeway is one big speed trap, and especially between Michigan Avenue and Rotunda. And if you know, you know, you've, you've gotten pulled over there. We all have. And there are always two officers on the ramp waiting, and they never have to wait very long, probably because I'm going by 10 over. We as Metro Detroiters, and we feel very strongly about this, we are required to shout the journey line in Don't Stop Believing, born and raised in South Detroit. Fun fact, there is no South Detroit. There's Down River, and all of us, almost none of us are actually from there, but keep singing it. And finally, we will always defend Detroit to people that have not been here or are not from here, and then secretly and internally, we all have our own opinions on what needs to be done to improve the city, but none of those opinions include the Q line. Those are the 20 immutable rules of Metro Detroit here in Southeast Michigan. My name is Mike Burnham, a local real estate agent. Google the Perna Team reviews to see any of our over 2,400 five-star reviews, and we would be honored to get the call or hit the Calendly link to schedule an appointment right on my calendar to help you find your next home or get your top dollar for your current home. Thank you again and see you on the next video.